Hey guys, welcome to this very short new tutorial. Um, now as you can see I've just got a uh, random project open and you can see it's a bit messy at the moment. Um, now what's going on here is I've got a lot of, um, uh, I used a lot of trackers and a lot of match move nodes to get the tracking information so it would make the roto easier so I could track some roto shapes to this guy's body and obviously as you can see it's a bit of a mess at the moment. Um, so I've just got the roto roto shapes in here and then just blur the alpha by one pixel and I grade that part of the footage um, just a little exercise um, basically if I were to pa pass this on to an artist I would want to keep all this um, tracking information here in case they wanted to um, use it let's say they were going to track they wanted to track um, an element to his body for example or, or whatever it's best to, just to keep it um, so I'm going to show you how to do two things mainly the backdrop but also get rid of these lines now these lines are expressions they're saying that this transform node and all, all of the rest of them are connected to this um, rotor paint node. Each kind of uh, rotor shape has like a little um, uh, data connected to each of these. Now in order to turn this off it's Alt E or Option E if you're on Mac and that's already looking a lot better. Um, if you just hit Alt E again you can still see that they're linked um, but it's, it's just a, a lot clearer. Now again you want to kind of have these um, backdropped and backdrop is just like a little sort of coloured rectangle in the background and you can label it and you can say what exactly these are because if we just handed this over like this they'd be like well what's all this um, so what we want to do is we want to hit tab on our keyboard and then we can type in quite simply back and then as you can see already backdrops come up so let's just give that a click and it's given us one grey one over here now what you want to do is you want to make sure this is click and drag this corner so it's around everything. Now there is another way to do it if I control click it to just select that and delete it. If you don't control click it'll select the nodes as well so just control click just to select the backdrop. Another easier way to do it is you can click and drag around the nodes you want the backdrop to appear around. Now hit tab and type back drop, hit enter and it'll go just around them. So if we double click this we've got some options in here so we can give it a label so I'll go tracking data for Roto, and you can see that goes over. So we can just uh, highlight the text and let's say let's make this 32 size 32. If you wanted to, you can change the color of the text. Uh, I don't know why you'd want to, but you can if you want. Um, you can also change the color of the node by coming to this cube up here. And maybe we want to make it pink for whatever reason. Maybe you want to color code things, which is always a good idea as well. Um, you, can, you can do that in here. Change the color of it. I'm just going to make it green why not because it relates to that track uh, that uh, wrote over there um, then yeah basically that, that that's it that's how you make it now if I click and drag this around you see all, all the nodes move along um, so I can if I want to I can put them way over here or I can put them wherever I want um, but what I also like to do if I was working with a big composition with loads of nodes I like to backdrop everything just so people know what's going on so if we select this even though people know this is the read node, we could backdrop it as well if we want. So select it and then go tab and type backdrop. And we'll just type in uh, input or footage. Let's go input. And let's make that a little bit smaller. 30. And then uh, let's backdrop this. So tab and then backdrop's already loaded in. So we can just hit enter. Let's move this down. Roto with grade, because it's got the grade node in there. And then, you know, you can move everything around like that. And that's basically it. That's how you create backdrops and tidy up your workflow inside of Nuke. Um, and remember, Alt E stops these little expression lines, just hides them. Um, they're still linked, obviously, but it just hides the lines. So um, that was a nice, quick, short one. Cheers for tuning in, and I'll see you in another tutorial.